Hey guys, Dimitri here. Uh, got a fun little project today. So uh, I've been working on my paramotor harness, and uh, you know I wanted I wanted to put something to the test because um, I'm like everybody else, man. Uh, a lot of times I'm very excited to give people advice, especially when I have experience about something. Um, but, you know, everybody on the internet is excited to do that too. And the problem is a lot of times um, there's so much advice and. I'll probably say about 75% of it, uh, if not more, is, uh, I don't know where the fuck it comes from, honestly, <laughs> pardon my language, but I really don't understand sometimes, you know, and it makes it really hard to so sort through what's reality, what's not reality, and and so, I don't know, uh, my intuition and my experience uh, rarely fails me, um, however, it does fail me all the time, and so, uh, so here's the plan, I made a strap and uh, I'm gonna put the strap to the test today um, and I received some input on the internet um, a lot of it has to do with the thread I'm using um, a lot of it has to do with the way I stitch and stuff and I'm sure some of it is very valid uh, and by the way I want to point out that I'm not here to prove anybody wrong on the internet or anything like that uh, I want to know I want to know if my harness is gonna be safe and I want to know if my intuition is safe right because uh, I've pulled cars before <laughs> with one of those little thin orange ratcheting straps right uh, out of ditches and I know I know the types of materials I work with and how strong they are you know but you know once again my intuition proves me all the time so let me show you the setup all right so here's the deal uh, so this is just one one strap and what this is is it's a safety strap it's gonna go gonna go under the seat board of the harness and it's gonna come up to the carabiners and it's not gonna be what's holding the weight um, because I'm gonna have uh, weight shift gooseneck bars that I'm gonna hook into but uh, in case something goes wrong with the gooseneck bars this will catch all of my weight uh, but I use a lot of similar straps in um, in all the other parts of the, of the of the harness so on the end you can see there are three little loops for the car carabiner to go through and each one has three stitches three 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 i'm just doing a voiceover correction here this is t92 bonded polyester thread and that makes it 14.4 pounds per stitch strength just cut into my finger but anyway, so each one of these stitches I have counted when I'm sewing has around 16 individual stitches. And obviously each one has two threads on each side that uh, crisscross or go through one another at every iteration. So, yeah. All right, so here's the test. Here's our trusty Subi. And you might notice a shuttle bus. Uh, now, I don't know how much this bus weighs, but I know I weigh 170 and I know this thing's above 5,000 pounds. And so what I did here is I have a tow strap and it's going to a tow hook, and the, the, the paramotor strap itself, the safety strap is going to the tow hook on the Subi. And like I said, because it goes underneath my butt, it comes back up. I'm gonna start with that. And I just have two carabiners here on the end uh, because that's how it would hook in. And I probably shouldn't have that on the bumper. I'm afraid I might bend it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna put the bus in neutral. I'm gonna pull the car. I'm actually a little worried about the car because it's currently pushing more power than the clutch can hold. And so the clutch tends to slip, or tends to slip. So hopefully that doesn't happen. If it does, eh. All right, let's give it a shot.
I destroyed my clutch on that one. Are we still recording? Yes, we are. Lo and behold, nothing happened. And we pulled the bus. Um, and I'm also uphill. Uh, so let me reset this. Because I want to try it with just the individual stra strap going one way. Alright, so second setup. I have the same strap on one carabiner here, one carabiner here, and obviously going all the way to the bus. limitation on this one actually ended up the Subi not having enough traction but I think it's pretty safe to say that I did move the bus pretty easily and I can pull once again I can pull on this with my time straight. tell that it's under stress you can tell that it's doing its job and the contours are adjusting but it's definitely 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 without a doubt holding yeah okay, so here's the actual harness I'm working on uh, as you can tell there's a lot more stitches I added new ones since I got the advice on the internet and yeah, there's stitch running all the way down the strap. Notice it's connected to a much thicker piece of webbing that's two inches wide. And every joint I do this kind of thing. And so, yeah, I think I'll put my life on the line with this guy. Uh, I want to test these buckles, so, because in reality, those guys are only rated for about 250 pounds each, and I know there's a lot more uh, stress put on an actual paramotor. Like, for example, when the, for example, what if the canopy collapses and then it opens up again uh, as I'm dropping, you know, pretty quick? It's going to be a lot more stress. And so, inside the actual harness, uh, I have a skeleton that's based on. Basically the same type of webbing as that uh, toe strap I was just showing and uh, I think this is one and a half inches wide and At every connection I have stitches and I have stitches running all the way down every one and in most cases There's at least two three four straps You know that are doing the structural support of everything and these leg straps they have a uh, the same kind of strap on the inside and what I did is I actually I first sewed this bottom two inch strap down to the skeleton. Then I sewed the leg straps to the, to the strap that sewed to the skeleton and also the skeleton. And then I went and put another two inch strap above it and sewed through, that makes four layers right here of strap. 
wait, five. That's five layers of strap over there. So all of that runs through the harness here and into these backpack straps that go back down into the harness. So it's all one web, one web, and this this shoulder or uh, chest strap goes all the way through the back side and wraps back around the front. And so, I mean, this is just cosmetic almost. It's almost like a comfort item. Uh, all the structures made in webbing. So I guess only one way to find out if it's strong enough, which is to send it, and then I will. <laughs>